Hey y'all, welcome back to the farm. Today, not gonna be a very long video. Just gonna show you a couple of things that we do with our extra eggs. Chickens have been laying quite a bit lately, but don't click off the video because at the end, I've got a couple of announcements that I think you might find interesting. So let's go along. I'll show you the first way of what we do with the eggs, some of the eggs. And the second way I'm gonna walk you through because it's one of my favorites. So one of the first ways we do, if y'all don't know, is freeze dry them. This is just freeze dried eggs. And this is from May of 2022 and they're still good. What you use them for is you can do scrambled eggs if you wanna just eat regular eggs or you can cook with them. That's one of the best ways to use the freeze dried eggs. So the second way, which is one of my favorite ways to eat eggs, is I'm gonna go through a Cajun pickled egg recipe. I've got 28 peeled eggs. Dana steamed those eggs in our foodie. It's pressure cooker. So it's a real easy way to make boiled eggs basically, but they're steamed. You just use a little bit of water and put them in the pressure cooker. I've got 28 eggs. I've got five pint jars. I'm going to do them in pint jars so that I don't have to open a whole bunch at one time. Each pint jar will hold six boiled eggs. That's all the equipment I need. I've got a pot on the stove. And I'm going to go through what all's in the eggs. So I've got, got the eggs. Use any kind of Cajun seasoning. I use, we like Tony Saturies, and it's just got the salt and all the other good Cajun seasonings in there that I want on my eggs. Zatarain's crab boil, you don't need much. I'll show you that in the recipe. Crushed red pepper flakes. So I like mine spicy. You can leave that out if you want. Now in the pot, I have got three and three quarters cups of water and two and a half cups of vinegar. And I'll show you how I arrived at those numbers when we go through it. Let's take a moment here and, to, and ask you if you would please consider subscribing to our channel, share our videos on social media and and uh, ring that notification bell so you know every time we post a new video it would help us immensely on the farm my math wasn't very good i should have 30 eggs in that bowl not 28 but if i've got 30 then that's going to be six eggs per quart or per pint you can do it in a quart you just double the recipe but six eggs per pint and that should equal 30. I'm pretty sure I have 30 eggs in there. The first step is to put your eggs in the jars. Remember, six per, per jar. And you're going to have to pack them in there. That's six. We'll, we'll push them down each time. I've got wide mouth jars because it's easier for me to work with, but you see how that egg keeps coming up out of there? A small mouth jar would help hold that down even better. Okay, the next step is to add the crushed red pepper. And like I said, if you don't want it super spicy, you can leave this crushed pepper out. You can use a hot sauce, about the same amount per jar, or whatever your fancy is. I've got a half of a teaspoon here, and I want a teaspoon and a half in each jar. So we're gonna go three scoops to each jar. The 
next ingredients is the Tony Saturies. So we want exactly the same amount. It doesn't have to be, it's up to you, but that's the way I like it. it is one and a half teaspoons per jar, so three scoops per jar. Boy, I think they're already looking good in that jar. Shake that down just a little bit in the jars. I got my vinegar and water warming up and I need to add my Zatarans shrimp and crab boil to the pot of water and vinegar. You wanna make sure don't use too much. It doesn't take that much. So it gets one half a teaspoon per jar. I'm gonna add that into here. So that'd be two and a half teaspoons. But we're going a half a teaspoon at a time. That's it. That's all it gets. That was a new jar and it barely took anything out of there and that's gonna do uh, what two and a half dozen pickled eggs. While that is warming up, I was gonna show you, you can feed your eggshells back to the chickens. That's 30 eggs worth of eggshells. Feed them back to your chickens for some good calcium, but make sure that none of them look like an egg because if they get used to eating eggs and they think it's an egg they'll eat their eggs out of the nest so you gotta crush them well and i'm gonna let these dry once they're dry i'll feed them back to my chickens I'll let y'all see in the pot there they are i just want to bring this to a simmer i got it on high to, to bring it up pretty quick but we're just going to simmer it there's a good look at the top of the jars got a home safety announcement for you and that is you should always read the labels of the containers that you're using this is Odaban guess what I thought it was I thought it was white vinegar and when it started uh, simmering I could smell it was not vinegar so I didn't get it on the eggs <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and finish Get, I'm going to get back to where I was and get that to a simmer and then I'll come back to y'all. So definitely read your labels at home. That could have been really bad. Glad I caught it. Okay, now I've got three and three quarters cups of water in the pan. And I need to add back the vinegar. This time, I'm certain it's vinegar. Two and a half cups of white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar if you want. It'll just make it a little bit sweeter. While I clean up my mess and that comes to a simmer, I'm gonna uh, cut y'all off and we'll come back when we're ready to, with the simmer. It's a good thing it doesn't take very much of the crab bowl because all I have is a little jar. We used to buy this by the gallon. We used to sell pickled quail eggs. Okay, once again, I've got five te half teaspoons in there, so two and a half teaspoons. We'll come back at the simmer. Okay, we are getting close to a simmer, but I want to once again remind y'all about the two announcements coming at the end of the video. And also, please subscribe. If you hadn't subscribed, it would really help us here on the homestead. Okay, we are at a low simmer and almost a bowl, so we're going to cut the heat. Pull that off the heat. This smells much better than the Odaban did. As far as pickled eggs go, the Odaban didn't have a bad smell. So now we just want to ladle in the brine to each jar and we need to try and cover the eggs.
And the last step is to put the lid on them. I'm just reusing some old flats. They don't have to seal up. So put that on there just, just hand tight. Now we have five jars of pickled chicken eggs, Cajun style. So now you have to let them set for at least two weeks. You can eat them now, but they'll be way better if you wait two weeks. They'll be even better if you wait longer than that. I will put the recipe for the, for the Cajun pickled eggs down in the show notes. It don't take long. It's an easy recipe that anybody can do at home. I'm going to try to stay out of them, but I'm going to try also to leave them a couple of weeks. I want some today, but I know I shouldn't eat them. Now, if you're still with me, it's time for the two announcements. And the first announcement I want to announce is we have started a second channel that's going to be primarily Dina. And it is called Life on Dyer Family Farm. So y'all go and check her stuff out. She's got a video up just getting started. So she'll have videos up periodically. And a lot of it will be sewing and cooking and things like that. But just stuff here on the farm. So go show her some love. Subscribe to her channel. And uh, enjoy it. And the second announcement is the reason I'm wearing this shirt. Oki Homesteading Expo is earlier this year. It was in June last year. This year it's going to be March the 22nd and 23rd. We're going to be there with our freeze-dried candy. But man, have they got a lineup. They got Joel Salatin going to be one of the speakers. Daniel and DJ Arms is going to be the DJs. They're going to, or the MCs. And you got Hidden Heights Farm there. They'll be there. Keeping It Dutch will be there. Count It All Joy will be there. DJ Arms also has a Do Your Best channel. They'll be there. And we got the Eddie family will be there. Walker Farm fam will be there. Um, keeping up with the Walkers. So it's a lot of YouTube people. But man, if you're a homesteader or even thought about being homesteading, y'all come out. It'll be fantastic. There'll be food trucks. There'll be all kinds of homesteading vendors, food, uh, just sweets. And I mean, y'all, you can't have a better time in two days, I promise. So get your tickets. It is in Pryor, Oklahoma, the Mays County Fairgrounds. March the 22nd, 23rd. You can get tickets for that at okiehomesteadingexpo.com. And you can also check out the rest of the, the speakers that are going to be there. Y'all take care. Thank you for coming along with me today. I just say God bless you. Challenge you to go be a blessing for somebody else. If you have any prayer requests, please leave them down in the comments. We would be happy to pray for you. Dana's coming in here. Just want to tell y'all God bless. Thanks again. Bye, y'all.